predict and explain using the collision theory, all of that guff there. Uh, what's the collision theory again? Well, for a successful reaction, the reactants must undergo a collision with the correct geometry and with energy greater than activation energy. for you. Well, first up is an increase in concentration. So if I add more reactants in, just like that. Now, what does collision theory have to say about this? Well, there are going to be more collisions if there's more reactants. Now, you can't just say more collisions. You have to say more collisions per unit time. So I'm going to put a tick there. The molecule on molecule collision geometry is going to remain unchanged. So no, it doesn't change the geometry of the collisions, and it doesn't change the energy of the collisions either. So just one tick there. And what's the upshot? Well, the upshot is, is that the rate increases if you increase the concentration of the reactants. Next up is pressure. Now, this only works for gases. I'm going to reduce the volume of the reactant vessel, keeping the temperature constant, of course. It wouldn't be fair to change two things. And by forcing them closer together, you can see that there's going to be more collisions per unit time. They're going to collide more. It's not going to change the molecule on molecule geometry of those collisions, and it's not going to change the energy of those collisions. So again, just one tick. What's the upshot? Well, the rate of reaction is going to increase again if I increase the pressure on a gaseous reaction. Next up is an increase in temperature. If I heat up the reaction vessel, well, the IB likes to do this one because it has uh, two answers. There's going to be more collisions per unit time and higher energy collisions on average. So, yep, put a tick next to collision. The geometry of the collisions isn't going to change. But the energy of the collisions is going to increase, more likely to be greater than activation energy. So the rate's going to increase if I increase the temperature. Next is surface area. If I increase the surface area, that's like a powdering something up. Now you can see that the reactants can now get inside to where they couldn't get before, get right inside that uh, white solid there. So there's going to be more collisions now per unit time. Geometry unchanged and the energy unchanged as well. and the rate will increase if I powder up my reactants. Stupid! Stupid! Stupid!